Hello everyone, this is Glaps, and I'm back yet again playing Craft of Titans. And in between episodes, I did a ton of stuff. Like, six hours of stuff. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Uh, get out of my way. I don't need these lights anymore. I have night vision. Anyway, I added four more prefabs. So we got these tunnels here. I also replaced all of the bedrock with stone slab. Because I couldn't stand staring at uh, bedrock texture anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we have side tunnels now with their prefabs, uh, aqua base prefabs as before, same as before. I moved my Inferium in here. Uh, it's doing Inferium stuff. Uh, I'm using a farming station now. Uh, I have growth accelerators under here. Uh, just getting pulled into an inner chest, being powered by flux points. Flux point again. Go to an inner chest. Getting pulled into the grafter by conduits, I believe, right down here. Yep. Trash can, pulling in the seeds, that pulling in the Inferium. And then it gets all ex exported out here from a flat transfer node uh, into the drawer. But uh, yeah, just getting getting crafted up. Tier 3 crafter, I could have did it with Tier 2, but I used Tier 3. Uh, that room doesn't have anything in it, so we won't go there. Down here is a room I'm not done with yet, but this is going to be our mob farm. It's just a giant box right now. I've been killing withers in here. I've killed about... I'd say about 35 withers. Uh, and I have a bunch of disturbed spawners. Um, skeleton, zombie, enderman, blaze, creeper. I think one, I don't know what the last one might, it might be light mage. I can't remember. Uh, ender chest, 100 upgrades. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get to that, but that's not going to be the day. The witherproof blocks are actually not that bad at all. If you got uh, essence being automatically made. There we go. Witherproof just needs, bam, this. So soul sand and glass will make the witherproof glass. And soul stone is just stone and soul sand. So soul sand, not a big deal. I mean, that way, just easy. Easy peasy. Anyway, that's that. Over here, I have moved every one of my garden closures. So they are all in this room. Uh, I think there's 55 of them. <laughs> all doing garden closure things. Uh, they're all connected with a drawer controller using oak trim. So the oak trim, because the oak trim's there, the drawer controller is able to see the connection down here. Just think of uh, oak trim as conduit. It, it, that's all it really is. Before Four storage drawers. Just makes it so it can pass the items and move them around as needed. Um, yeah, other than that, just a nice clean setup on the back. Power on the tops. Uh, one flux point powering the entire thing. Three infinite water sources. I don't think I need three. I could probably done it with one or two. Um, I just, I'm using three because I had them. Uh, <laughs> on top of that, I have a network receiver. And I'm using a network transmitter, of course, as well. So network. If you go to network receiver, um, pretty easy recipe. The only thing is, this doesn't come in the meteor that you use to get refined storage. So you have to actually make these basic processors. And you have to make the destruction course. So just something to be aware of. But uh, yeah, these are easy to set up. You just stick the transmitter on your fine storage system on a cable. Uh, just so it's getting power or just direct connecting to one of the machines. Um, put this down where you want to use it, the receiver. Uh, right click it with a network card. So the network card, super cheap. Uh, then go back and put the network card into the transmitter. And boom, it'll work. It'll take a fair amount of RF depending on the distance further the distance the more power it's going to take mine's about 90 blocks i haven't looked at the actual power usage but not that big a deal all set up though i also made this here a wireless grid so i got a wireless grid um only works up to 48 blocks away but uh yeah it's useful um again need to make a destruction core and i had that yeah to, for a grid i actually had to make a grid because you don't get grids in the meteor either so i had to do that and I made a drill. I'm not even going over that recipe. It's super easy. If you have the Empower, you can make it. Actually, do you even need the Empower? No, you don't. You just need the Reconstructor. You need the Empower to make the arguments. So, these. If you have the uh, <laughs> Empower, you can do that. Super easy. Over here, I ramped up the power output of this. Oh, look how red it is. It is so red. Uh... <laughs> It is a 33.4 KRF. I used eight more uh, fuel rods. So yeah, kind of pushing it to its max. Um, 
it's producing more power. The reason for that was this setup here was using about probably about 14,000 RF. It's just a mass fabricator hooked up to six connections from high energy uh, RF converters uh, just being fed in by an, uh, a flux point. These conduits have been beefed up in this pack big time too. So if you look at the under conduits, they can actually transfer 64,280 RF a tick. So that is way more normal. I can't remember the base normal base number, but I think that's at least double, if not triple. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but this is making this go super fast is the whole point. The most of this can take in a single connection is 512 EU, which is what these produce. Uh, but there's no limit to how many actual connections it can receive. So I got six going into it. I don't have scrap going into it yet at all. And look how fast it's going. So once I add a scrap system to keep scrapping it going all the time, this is going to go about seven and a half to eight times faster. So yeah, not going to, it'll be able to pop out the EU, not the EU, the UU. There we go. Uh, anything else I've done? Nothing here. Nothing on this floor. Here I'm just doing cleanup. It's just tedious. I was actually doing this before I did the video. I need to get all the essence out, craft it up, throw it in the system. Uh, I've been getting rid of all of my thermoelectrics. This is the last one left, I think, because I just haven't done anything with the system. But look how slow this one is. Look at it. Look how slow. <laughs> the other one's already over 300. And uh, it's only been up for, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> Moved my power over here, cleaned up my uh, machines over there, and uh, yeah, kind of walled this in. Uh, not a big deal there. I'll show you, uh, let's see here. I think right there, there's my wireless transmitter. It just has four range upgrades, and that makes it so this can be 48 blocks away. So that's there. So that's simple. Just set it on a cable, throw some range upgrades on it. Um, this, I don't want to break anything behind it. That's where the transmitter is. Nothing special there. Just has the network card that I use to right click on the receiver. So it's good to go. And, uh, I'm kind of curious how much power it's work using now. So let's check. Oh, why am I even doing that when it's right, right in front of our face? Transmitter. It's using 480. That's only using 15. So the receiver doesn't use much. It's the transmitter. Transmitter is using 418. So fair amount of RF, but uh, not a giant amount. If you do it cross dimension, I think it needs an upgrade for that. But it's a thousand flat. So something to be aware of. Also made two uh, flux controllers. Uh, one for each channel. One for power, and one for storage. The main reason I did that is one to have it on transmitter mode. So it'll charge anything in my inventory uh, at any given time. And you could set the held item, you know, there's different settings. Hot bar, held item only, off or on. I also always set this to even distribution. It just seems to work more smooth when it's on even distribution. Otherwise, sometimes Flux Network sometimes gets odd priorities. That's the only way to really explain it. It'll just start feeding certain machines more power than others. And I don't know why <laughs> at all. And I've had no one be able to explain it to me. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for all I've done. Like I said, it's been a lot. I also mined for about two hours. I got tons of anamidium and a good amount of prosperity ore. So, okay, what are we actually going to get to today? Well, let's check out here. I was looking at this quest line here and over here. Dragging you with me. Um, I want to get through this one so I can get to the infinity pick. The infinity pick has fortune 10 on it. With that, I'd be able to farm Draconium much easier in the end from Meteors and get, you know, one Meteor is going to give me hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds with uh, Fortune 10. I really need that. I need a lot of Draconium, so I'm going to do this. We're going to do this quest. Well, this quest line. We already got the first three done. So we have this one. This one was just killing scouts. Uh, I've killed about five now. Uh, this one's Dragon Scales. You get those from dragons anyway. This one was Priorithium Dust. Uh, I got that passively just trying to make transfer nodes. <laughs> uh, but we need to make this one. The Dragon Ignut. Let's get to that. So the Dragon Ignut. Dragon Ignut. We're here. Not a big deal. This is some bat wings. A premium apple. I got like 24 of these from a quest, I think. <laughs> so yeah, we got those no problem. Let's see here. Let's go boom. And boom. There we go. Um, there we go. We have a Dragon Egg. Nut. 
I guess. <laughs> and we should be able to accept that quest. So dragon you with me, come here, claim that, get a hundred dragons. This dragon armor, it gives you mining fatigue and slowness. So yeah, it's getting out of my inventory really quick. I don't know if there's a way of fixing that or making it actually useful, <laughs> but I'm not messing with it. I really don't know enough about this mod. Boom, here. So Julisu, we need to do this. And this is gonna give us two swords with sharpness 35 on them. So later on, we'll be able to disenchant us once we have a massive amount of levels with a mob farm. Um, but this is gonna take about 130, 140 levels to disenchant. I can tell you right that right now. It's gonna take a ton. Um, so Julisu, let's go here. Let's go to use. Just uh, Proethium dust around the dragon eggs nut. Dragon, dragon nut egg, I guess. There you go. And uh, that's that. Uh, I think we gotta fight this now. So I guess we're gonna head upstairs and go get that done. Okay, I'm just gonna throw the dragon egg over here. I want it away from my base because sometimes dragons can start deleting blocks. <laughs> I don't want any part of that. So, like I said, I think this is just a hundred dragon. So, this especially a renamed egg. So I'm not really that concerned. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, void damage just utterly destroyed him. But we got our Luna Mara. <laughs> I, I have no idea. He just died. <laughs> that is hilarious. I want to show you guys something over here really quick. <laughs> um, I've been having an issue here. I've been trying to summon the Lightning uh, Guardian. And it's not working. So what you have to do is make a circle of gold. So gold inlay. Uh, put a mana battery in it. Then two iron bars. That is, is my understanding of how this works. This is how it says it in the book. And uh, this is how I read about it online. Um, but this doesn't seem to be working. So the next step of this is to wait for a storm. Then a lightning bolt is supposed to hit this. And it's supposed to turn into the, uh, the guardian. But this hasn't worked for me. I've sat here for two storms. Two entire storms. Waiting for lightning to hit this thing. I was actually standing here. Go away, fish. Uh, and lightning hit me, but didn't activate this thing. So I don't know what's going on there, what the problem is. Um, it doesn't have to be charged. Actually, the lightning hitting it is actually supposed to charge these. Um, so yeah, I have no idea. If it, I'm going to try one more storm. If it doesn't work, I'm just loading in the egg, and I'm going to do it that way. Um, the Ars Magic and Bosses seem to have some serious issues. I know a lot of people are having issues with them. Uh, one is for sure is that one with the, was it the winter one? But 80% of people can't get it to work. <laughs> uh, well, you know, some people can. No one knows why. No one has a clue. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, that's that. We're going to go here and go find out what the use of this is. So we need to make an onyx. We haven't even actually looked, so let's look here. We need to claim this one first. This is going to give us our swords, which is cool. This is going to give us this, which is cool. I have no idea what a dragon altar is for. Might be for one of the other quests. Then we need the onyx dip dig. Okay, there we go. And we get two of these things, which is amazing. Which is, yeah, really cool. Um, here, bam. So this is, is bad. Okay, so we need 36 onyx, and I have nowhere near that. So let's go here. I only have 12 onyx, which means I'm actually going to have to go to the nether. Um and get 24 more onyx so that is the thing and apparently i'm bringing my dragon altar <laughs> i'm not even afraid of the what nether anymore um the nether is just irritating now it's just a frustrating irritating place um if you spend any amount of time in the same spot because mobs just seem to i don't know swarm you i want to say <laughs> it's not a good time so Hopefully we can find this onyx pretty quick. I think I went that way this time, so we'll go this way this time. Do do do. Go away, ghast. Oh, there's some right there actually. Last time I was here, I did not have fortune, so hopefully it goes a little better. Let's see, that was five right there. We only need 24, so hopefully it doesn't take a hundred years. I don't see any really quick here. Yeah, see, I don't want anything to do with that, so we're just going to keep moving. <laughs> Horrible, like, horror movie sounds. Yep, I'm leaving. 
We're gone. Book it. <laughs> Let's go. Go up this way. Look around. Check all the ledges. Oh, this is the back of my house. I definitely don't want to go this way. That was a horrible sound. I have no idea what that was. Hopefully... I don't have to spend a lot of time here. I really don't want to. Because sooner or later, I always get swarmed by massive amounts of reapers. Oh, there's some right there. I'll take that. What is that? 21. Okay. Okay, we're back. And we've got that nether bug where it takes away our levels. <laughs> so let's just store what we have. There we go. It always scares me. It makes me think I'm losing all my levels or something. But uh, we got enough onyx now, so we're good to go. Let's go in here, here, do this. We just need four, so one, two, three, four. There we go. Excellent. We're gonna go here, grab this. This must have MPT data. Of course, it holds RF, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do that. We'll get our onyx dip big. That quest will be done. We can claim that. Get two artifact bags. Not a big deal. And Bramek the Old God. Now this quest for some people works. For other people, they have to actually edit the uh, the quest to make it work right. We're going to see if it works for me here in a second. So we'll see. Let's throw that in there, throw that in there. Let's go to here. Use. There we go. Prothium dust. Bam. And going to work. I have no idea. Quest, go to, where was it? Dragging you with me? It's not working. Okay. See, it gave us the wrong egg. It says Brahimic 383. That is not what we need. We need Brahimic the Old God. And there's no way of getting it. There's no way. The only way to do it is to edit the quest. Okay, I'm back. And we're going to fix this quest. So the way you do that, go here. Go here. Hopefully it brings an update with this fix soon. But I uh, enter this command here. So that's bq underscore admin space edit. Do that. Then we're going to go straight into the actual quest. We're going to go to edit. We're going to go to tasks. We're going to go on retrieval tasks. And we're going to set this. So right now it says partial match. True. We want ignore MBT data. So we're going to turn that off. Do that, hit done, 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 and done. And we should be able to do this to turn edit off. And there's our quest right there. Bam. It's just a matter that wrong data is entered. That's all it is. Anyway, we're done. Getting quest. Uh, you could tell just by ignoring Nambi data, it's the same item. <laughs> so, anyway, that's done. Let's uh, go to quest. Here, dragging you with me. Go here, claim that, and we're going to get a heart container, which is cool. Going to use that, get rid of that artifact bag and that, and we got to go fight another dragon. And this is an alpha dragon, so we're going to go fight him. Going to be pretty cool. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> I'll, we'll see if he melts like the last one did. <laughs> when you get void damage on your axes, it's just, when it procs, it is ridiculous. Just ridiculous how much damage you can do. Cuts through everything. Okay, we're gonna throw him right there. And we're gonna fight this guy. He's got 4,000 hit points. And in one hit, I just took 1,500. Because <laughs> of. Oh, and another 1,500. Wow. <laughs> oh, when the damage goes off, it's fairly rare. But the fact that you can spam in this, it's not as rare as it should be. But uh, yeah, we just utterly destroyed, you know, one of the quote-unquote titans. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. We'll uh, use our heart. Throw Niter in there. We get anything else from him? Nothing particularly good. Let's go in here, go to quest. Go to uh, Dragon You with me. Come here. Giant model of the boss for some reason i'm sure there's words under there but i'll never know what they are because well i'm not going to wait for his wing to turn and here nothing it's just checkbox and more story and i haven't been going over what it says in these because it's just all story i have no interest 
Go here, go here, go here. Not in a pack like this for sure. Anyway, there we go. We got our, our World Breaker, Fortune 10. The Plant Eater doesn't have anything on it. I don't really care about that one. I want this one. So there you go. We are done. So, we got what I wanted. But we might as well do some more quests. So let's take a look here. I think this one leads us to more dragon battles, but I really don't know anything about this quest line. So let's see what we do. We do have this Coralium ore. You find that when mining around bedrock. I think it's more so in certain uh, areas, but we have it. So that's not a big deal. Might need these gems too. So here, uh, what? What's going on? Why, why isn't that working? Is it that? Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea. That looks like it might be a messed up quest too. But uh, I'm not sure. Or it was really lagged. I mean, it's possible it was just lagged. But uh, I did say there was a quest that was bugged last episode. And I was wrong. <laughs> it was for this. The zigzag. Zig. Zag. This one here. I said this was uh, bugged. I just tried to make it on the wrong crafting table. You have to go to here. It needs to be made on this crafting table. I mean, it doesn't matter the way I did it. It still would have cost me the same amount of stuff. But uh, I was absolutely wrong. It wasn't bugged. It was just supposed to be here. <laughs> I have no problem admitting I'm wrong. There we go. Might as well break the rest of this down. I'm probably going to need it. So, And I get to play with my uh, insanely fast pick. This pick is so fast, you remember how long it took about, I don't know, 15, 20, maybe 30 seconds to break one of these early in the game? Yeah. It's nothing anymore. <laughs> they are like paper. They break as fast as you can hit them. Uh, so yeah, let's throw so those in the wire. Dare. Oh, I didn't want you at all. Let's go look at our quest, though. So what do we got next? We have this one, Necronomicon. I think that's the book for Abyssalcraft. Gateway key. I don't know what a Corellian Peril is, but let's grab two Blaze Rods. Blaze Rods. One, two. There we go. Uh, let's look at those pearls. Pearl. Actually, let's look in the book first to see if it says anything about them. Corium ore is most commonly found in the overall biome, darkland mountains, and ocean. Okay. Uh, you'll need to create two Corellian pearls by placing any combination of nine Corellian gems in between two rows. Okay. Let's see here. It says CNEI. So, we need to create this stuff. Can we just do this? Yes. Uh, yes, we can. I guess we need six of these. So, we'll just do that and throw that in there. Then, I guess we'll do this. Looks right. Okay, let's smelt these down. There we go. Got our Corallium Pearls. Should have a quest. Excellent. Claim that. Oblivion Catalyst. I have no idea. We'll pretend I know what that is. Um, I'm not going to go over the details of this mod either. <laughs> because, well, if you read it. Uh, where is it? Dragon you with me. Here. He basically tells you. He shortened it massively anyway. So long story short, the quest chain and its rewards drastically shortened the usual amount of tasking required to progress through uh, Abyssalcraft. So blah, 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 blah. So bam. It, he just, this is basically the shorthand version, and uh, that's what we're doing. He just wants you to do it, but uh, not have to do all the grind. Uh, Aspen Knife Pickaxe. I've never found that ore, so I'm not sure where you get that. Only place I've seen this stuff is armor for mobs and uh, getting it from loot bags. So I do have some of the agates. Let's see here. Have you picked up some pieces of bits of armor and loot bags? But have no need for them? The decrafting table. I never even heard of that. Maybe I'll turn them into agates. What is a decrafting table? I don't think it's that. What is a decrafting table? Nothing. Uh, does it have a dash? Nope. 
What crafting tables do we have? I have no idea what a decrafting de table is, and I'm not seeing it. So if someone knows about that, let me know. Sounds like a cool item. I like looking at stuff like that. So I'm not going to worry about that, though, because I can make the pickaxe because I have them. Grab that. Can do that. That and that. There you go. Detect. Claim. Boom. Got to throw these in there. Uh, I don't... Do I need this? To, I'll keep stuff on me. I might need that stuff. So what is the pickaxe for? Doesn't really say. Although your tools you may find in the overseas better, there are materials and abyssal dimensions that only respond to compounds found in abyssal tools. Okay. Sounds great. So here, enchantment table, four gold ingots, a bucket, and ender pearl. Okay, let's do that. So bucket. Gonna have to make a fresh bucket. Bucket. There we go. We'll need ender pearls. Stack of those. Some gold. That. And probably uh, enchantment table. We'll need bookcases, won't we? Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Need what? Three of these? Nope, don't have enough of this. We'll just make some more. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Do we have everything else? Oh, that's not an enchantment table. Grab that, grab that. There we go. Why did I think I needed bookshelves? I'm drunk. Anyway. <laughs> Let's just claim that. I have no idea. Let's see here. Gateway key. There we go. Let's grab the gateway key. We already have everything because, well, the quest is taking us that way. So that's not a big deal. Throw that inside. Boom. Done. Claim that. Potions of healing. Oh. Where are we going? There was a quest that needed splash potions of healing. This one. There we go. I'll take that. That's actually something that was making it so I didn't make the uh, the disenchantment table. Let's see here. Disenchantment table. This is what I was thinking. About. I was thinking earlier. I was looking at the enchantment table. I was looking at this recipe, and I was thinking I needed bookshelves. And this is actually what I needed bookshelves for. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, let's see here. Enchantments. I think I have all the rest of my enchantments somewhere else. Where are my other enchantments? Now I'm kind of worried. I have a whole bunch of them. Maybe I put them... Oh, yeah, they're behind this, aren't they? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's make sure. I did not lose them. But uh, we'll get that. Might as well get that anyway. Boom. Here. Grab that. Claim that. There we go. Throw that on the ground. I actually want to check how much this is going to cost. Boom. To get the just the enchantments off these. Because I think it's going to be very expensive. I did this another pack and that was like level 40s and it cost a ton. 140. 140. So I was wrong. It's even higher than I thought. So yeah. That's definitely going to be a future thing. Okay, well, we could do one, but it's probably going to cost another, you know, 50, 60, 70 just to enchant it. Uh, so we're definitely going to need our mob farm. So I'm going to have to farm draconium. Uh, let's go back to Dragon U with me. Here. Power stone trackers. What are these things? Power stone trackers. Bam. Those don't look so bad. We've got a ton of those. It said 16, didn't it? Here, let's see here. Surrounding our broke early in gems, just like Eyes of Enter, but point to the the way to Dreadlands infused power stones. Oh. You summon the dragon titan known as Azura. So yeah, I guess you just shoot them up and follow the direction. We could end up needing quite a few more of those, just the way those usually work. Uh where are we? Summoning the beast. Oh, I used our enchantment table. Didn't I? Better make another one. There we go. There we go. We'll claim that. Excellent. 
Wait, 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 wait. I already made that. I'm confused. What is this one? Once you begin the abyssal brick, you begin seeing abyssal brick walls. You have found the stronghold. Plan ahead on where you want to fight the Titan. If you fight her out in the open, expect to be fending off constant wave of mobs, spectral drag, spectral dragons. Wow. Another option is to burrow down almost twenty. Well, bedrock level and create a large twenty by twenty clearing in the stone, leaving about ten blocks of height in the room, performing a ritual. Here you summon the dragon diamond into a confined area where you can fight without interruption. Hmm. Crazy. Okay. So apparently this is what we need to fight. It's gonna give us an uncommon rune, which means we'll have two uncommon runes. I don't think I'm gonna fight him today, but it'll give us two uncommon runes. Uh which will I just want quest, come on. The uncommon trades. I'd be able to get my builder, but I can't get my quarry cards yet. Are they rare? That's unfortunate. Mmm, frustrating. We need rares to get the quarry cards. Not very useful without it. Same as these two, right? There's nothing in uncommon I really want at all. The only thing I want is the builder, but it's no good to me. I'm I honestly I should too, I should say. I don't know how far I'm going into this pack. I'm going to do all of these quest lines. So there isn't a lot left, but I am going to do it all. Um, these, though, like, I can't see me doing all this. This isn't fun to me. Automating 500 wood at this level of four different kinds of wood. Down here, he's probably got it up to about 10,000 of each kind. Just, that's not fun. That's farming stations. So that's a farming station quest. Uh, here's a farming station quest. See what I mean? Farming station and crafters here. Um, this is farming station and crafters. Uh, milk. We'll need uh, cows, in, cows, in, cows in a bottle. Oh no. Um, that is excessive. If this is the first level, <laughs> I don't want to see the last level. Uh, let's see here. That's just wait for that 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 is just uh garden cloches more garden cloches <laughs> you see what i'm saying it's just this one is a lot of work so creosote to get that much creosote just imagine how many coke ovens you need if this is the first level that's the first level yeah so that is easy that's the easiest one i could do that in a second um Again, see, I don't know how much of these I'm going to do. This, some of them just seem excessive. Like this one. This is going to take forever. This is the first one. Five millibuckets of uh, buckets of UU matter. I don't want to see what this one is. Because if it's 500, I'm not doing it. <laughs> anyway, that's my little rant. Uh, but I am going to do all the basic quests. I mean, we've already reached the point where nothing can really kill us except for... It seems like the Arch Mask bosses are the only things that could do it. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this here. We did a lot today. So I'm going to end this here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.